And in the headlines, Ghana's economy contracts by 3.2% in the second quarter of this year due to the negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the reliance of banks on the Bank of Ghana for credit support has dropped to 91.7%. Banks have increased loans to the manufacturing sector and the Ghana Revenue Authority is contemplating on incentives for filing tax returns online. Hoteliers present speedy recovery plan to governments to help them recover from the COVID-19 pandemic on their businesses. Now the news in details. The Ghana Hotels Association has presented a 10-point blueprint to government aimed at supporting the industry to accelerate its recovery now the from the adverse details. impact experienced as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. The association is bemoaning neglect from government saying that even though there were several interventions announced to support the business community, many of its members have had to strive to survive the painful impact of the pandemic with no or little state support. Speaking at a press conference to make their case to government, the president of the association, Dr. Edward Akanyamike, press conference to make their case to the government, the president of the association, Dr. Edward Akanyamike Jr. said it is public knowledge that the sector was run to zero due to measures introduced to fight the spread of the virus. The country's economy in the second quarter of 2020 faced the full rigors of the COVID-19 pandemic as growth for the first time in about four decades contracted, largely occasioned by the hospitality sector's abysmal performance. Data from the Ghana Statistical Service show that despite the information and communications sector growing at a phenomenal 74.2%, it wasn't enough to save the economy as it contracted by 3.2% compared to an impressive growth of 5.7% recorded in the same period a year ago. In monetary value, goods and services produced in the second quarter was worth some 85.7 billion Ghana cedis. But when inflation is taken out with 2013 as the base year, the economy's worth in the period is 38.6 billion Ghana cedis compared to 39.9 billion Ghana cedis for the previous year. Measures introduced by the regulator to help the banking industry remain strong in this pandemic season seem to be bearing fruit as new data show that the bank's dependence on the central bank for liquidity support has reduced significantly. The statistical bulletin report of June 2020 shows that there has been a drastic 91.7% decline in credit support from the Bank of Ghana to the banking industry since the beginning of the year. In January, the Bank of Ghana extended more than 1.9 billion Ghana cedis credit to the sector compared to 158 million Ghana cedis in June. This, among other reasons, means the banking industry, even after the pandemic hits the country in March, has the required amount of funds to operate and become profitable. And in our next story, the Ghana Revenue Authority says it will soon outline some incentives that would accompany the filing of tax returns online through the integrated tax application preparation system in a move to encourage compliance. Acting Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority, Amishadai Owusu Amwas, told the BNFT in an interview that a channel migration strategy is being developed to encourage businesses and individuals to pay their tax. The integrated tax application preparation systems will ensure that taxpayers have the opportunity to file returns at their convenience and also receive all the necessary support they need electronically. The app is an e-services platform that enables taxpayers to prepare, apply and receive GRA services online. With this, both individuals and companies are able to file their annual tax returns at their own convenience and pay digitally through the new single digital payment platform, Ghana.gov, which provides a single point of access for all services of ministries, departments and agencies of the government. 
The Business and Financial Times is running a discount week from the 12th to the 16th of October 2020, where we offer our loyal customers a 40% discount for full page color adverts only. You can visit our website for more information. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. My name is Lily Pearl Baba Utu. Do have a lovely weekend.